So you can see a lot of uh, trading in the adaptation from these two in this match, I believe. All right, we're starting off on Pokemon Stadium 2. Okay, and that's the thing. Here it took go. me like years of Smash 4 to realize that Greninja is actually saying Greninja during all these attacks. It's really cute. I didn't know Greninja. that. Wow. Wow. Now you can't you can't unhear it. You'll never that. unhear it. <laughs> Once I noticed that the first time, I never unhear it's it. It's like wow, it sounds so much clearer now. Before yeah. it was like mumbling. <laughs> and now it's like clear Greninja. Wow. God, Pokemon music is so great. You just distracted uh, <laughs> me for this entire set. <laughs> well, they're pretty even so far. Thanks uh, a lot. <laughs> Venya with a slight percent lead so far. Gonna come down to who can seal out stocks consistently in this matchup. Okay, nice parry. Good parry into jump away. Uh, yeah, I mean, get that I mean, first month of ultimate stuff going. Exactly, Jay. And that's. Ooh, that was good. Sometimes that's what you gotta do. Parrying doesn't always mean you're gonna be able to punish the attack. Right. Sometimes it just it makes you safe. The hard he call out. read his life just now. <laughs> he started charging that up smash before Venya landed. The entire next year of Venya's life has just been read by Jen. <laughs> and just there you go. Insane. Nice job by Jen. Great tech chase slash roll read slash whatever else that was. Um, and there we see the getup attack. Getup attacks, again, invincible until the hitbox comes out in this game. Mm -hmm. But I think it's an interesting change. Gives them a little more purpose. They're, yeah. they're pretty bad at top level in Smash 4 by the end, so yeah. you didn't I like see that, that change. Too often. It was a super duper hard uh, mix up. Crazy mix up where it was like all or nothing. I'm still blown away every time Palu can do something with F2. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm so not used to it. I love it. I mean, it's, it's a good move, man. Palu's good, okay? Okay, it looks like uh, Jen DI'd out on that dash attack. Wasn't able to get hit with the uh, dub smash afterwards. So I guess there is some counterplay to that. Okay. Running F2. Okay, Jen playing really safe. He hasn't punished a lot of these things on shield that uh, Venya is throwing out. And it doesn't seem like those things are safe. Um, nonetheless, let's see what he does about that. How he adapts to that in this, uh, this, this stop. I don't know if he was going for a warp cancel, but if so, he missed it right there. Just goes back into the middle of the stage. Doesn't get hard punished for yeah. it, though. Pretty good. Uh, opting to get out of disadvantage, so I'll take it. Really good option coverage here from Jen. We'll see how far he can push this. There you go. And that's that's a frame trap at a lot of percentages. Because you either get hit with the fair, you have to air dodge out towards the blast zone and get spiked, or you have to air dodge in and get re-grabbed. So. I'd like to see more people try to air dodge at the ledge. Nice. Like, in the direction of it. And uh -huh. see if that would work. Oh, okay, so like air dodge straight down? Like straight down, or depending on where you are, maybe down and away, down okay. and in. Um, I don't know. I mean, just nah, something, something, that, to, something to see. In theory, it seems like it'll work. Just since we've seen really the same option a lot of times. We've seen everyone air dodging through him so far. Did you see the spacing on those down tilts? Look at really this. Good. Oh my god, what are you going to do? <laughs> he literally just creeps up to his shield and just starts slapping the bottom this, of this it. This little <laughs> frog just walks up and starts kicking <laughs> you in the ankles. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> Or punching you, I can't tell. Right? Uh, <laughs> I can't tell which ones are a punch and which ones a kick on the ground sometimes. That's really funny. Right. Oh, I like the idea. See? Gets the parry. That, but wasn't able to punish it. Well, he could have punished. He oh, just he, couldn't yeah, punish with a forward smash. Exactly. Yeah. He could have punished with, like, turnaround jab or dash attack oh, or something. Uh, and that's just a thing where, as, you know, as we get farther into this game, people will know what they can and can't do out of a parry. Exactly. If you parry something really laggy, go ahead and forward smash it. If you parry something very quick like that, that would normally be safe, You'll have time to punish it a lot of the time, but you won't have time to forward smash. You might just have time to, well, I would say forward tilt, but it's Palutena. Yeah. Uh, right. So something I mean, along those lines. Now, though, it, it does work now. It's still not the fastest, but it's a lot faster. Uh -huh. It probably would have worked in that situation. Here we go. And Venya kind of brought this one back. He, uh, I think that's the first time he, he was touched on that stock, if not the second time. But disadvantage right here. How is he going to make it back to the stage? Opting to up B. I love the angle right there. Goes down and back up. Mm -hmm. Jen doesn't go low enough. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing, uh, Venya can mix up the recovery with uh, Greninja very well, so... Uh, I really like what Venya did there, jumping out of that tech situation instead of teching on the platform, because that could have led to a tech chase up smash or back air or something like that. Instead, he just jumps away, resets neutral. Yeah. Oh, and he called he out the side a little early. Well, and that's the thing, you can't really see the shadow in the air, so that you kind of just that gotta was great. go for it. He got another parry and got a grab out of it. No grab confirm at that percent, though. And the up air nice. will take it. Great read from Jen right there. Just nice. calls out the full hop. And that is the one drawback of Greninja having such a tall full hop. I talked about it a lot in the Mr. E set, yeah. where he would jump like high enough that he was just over the height of Marth's 
control. Yeah. And then Jen just sort of calls out, okay, you're going to jump right to this height. I'm going to exactly. get up there. I'm going to punish you on your exactly. way down. And it takes game one with that. Mm -hmm. And the fact that Palutena is so fast on the ground right. really helped her because he saw it, immediately ran under. And you don't have to you don't have to get the tipper. You don't have to, like, space it out correctly. It's nope. just like a big hitbox. Multi-hit. Just Actually died. connects all the time. <laughs> it did in Smash 4, but just in general, multi-hits are really good at connecting in this game for yeah. the most part. So that's good to see. And one, one key difference in this game is rapid jabs and jabs on the ground. You don't kind of, you don't get like popped up. You go into yeah. like this jab animation. He's getting like jab getting animation, hit. yeah. So that's really good as well. And you can only like shield or fall out of it if they hold it for a really long time most of the time. Yeah. The vast majority of the time you can't get out of just a, like a normal rapid jab where they don't hold the button. Yeah, so you kind of get stuck like Bayonetta's from Smash 4. Hey, I have to get out of that sometimes. Uh, it was possible. Very, it's very rare, though. It's so hard. I, I play Peach. Oh, floaty. Yeah. Peach <laughs> doesn't count. She's uh, the it's the exception. <laughs> Nonetheless, you can see Venya kind of pressing the issue a little bit more in this set, uh, trying to suffocate Jen a little bit. Um, and I and I believe that's what you want to do to Palutena. Palutena wants you on the other side. She wants to be able to explosive flame you, make you for, force you to make a bad decision. But that range right there, kind of two character lengths away from Palutena, I think right. is the prime area you want to stay to be able to punish Palutena. And that goes back to the thing we were talking about earlier, where like she's really good at like long range and super close range. Yeah. So it's the in between where she sort of has to guess which one you're going to go to next. Mm -hmm. And if you're gonna, oh, that's unfortunate. Drift yeah. a little too low. Yeah. yeah like Wait if you're going to low. run away or jump back, she'll explosive flame or auto yeah. reticle or she something. And if you're gonna run in, she's got options to counter you running in. But she has to call out that you're going to, and has to call out more or less when you're gonna do it. Exactly. And, and that's something Venya can take advantage of yeah. for sure. But if you, were, you see, they both knew. He saw the stock taker. <laughs> <laughs> but and that's the thing in the neutral uh, with Palutena. If you kind of force the issue and then. That could have been a stop. <laughs> but For if sure, you try to force the issue, that would kill though. Back throw. Um, and kind of retreat out. Palutena has a lot of tools to keep you out again. Once you force the issue and push yourself in, you kind of want to stay in. Even if you don't go all the way in, stay in that range that you took from Palutena and try and take it gradually. Right. A Still catching nares. these landings. Yeah, he has no And jumps, Jen was so. way down in this game. Oh, and he SDs again. I knew he was going to SD. I was going to say he's bringing this back so far mm -hmm. after the SD, but the second SD right there, really unfortunate. Now he has to do it all over again, which good, is very good possible. Good use of the dash attack there, though. And that's what I mean. He has to call out when he's going to come in. Right there, he calls out that Venny's going to jump in with the fair. Counters that with the dash attack. Uh, Pilot's dash attack and back air, just like Smash 4. Fully invincible on the shield if you hit the shield with any part of your hitbox. Yeah. Uh, it will, Palu will beat your move out. Now you can see Jen, uh, Benya doing a lot of things on, uh, wasn't ready Ooh. that time. <laughs> was not ready some hard at right there. Oh, I was not either. That I forgot a, about it for just a moment. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Jen forgot about it because the last time he kind of just baited it. He didn't go all the way out. He kind of just threw right. it out, whiffed it on purpose. And Jen countered. Jen threw out a counter uh -huh. at, one of the, at one point. Yep. They, he did. He threw out a counter that time. So this time... Jen's like, he's no not counter. Do it again. Yeah. He's then he comes out it. for him. It's like, bro, yeah, I am. <laughs> comes all the way out to the blast zone. And we're going to Battlefield. I think it's a good counter pick uh, against Greninja in general. Mm -hmm. Not that Greninja can't do anything with platforms, but just he's a lot scarier with a lack of platforms. Yeah. And this ensures that you're never going to get, you know, Greninja vine, a Japanese vine combo. Exactly. Which is a weird name for it, considering it, you know, Venya was the one doing a lot of that stuff. But, exactly. But that was how it got famous about the character initially. I mean, the Japanese player is known for their meticulous and methodical play style, kind of doing that kind of thing. So. It's, it's why the top Greninja is pretty much, you had like the one here in Venya, uh -huh. you had eye studying, and then a lot of Japanese Greninjas. Exactly. Nonetheless, uh, here we go. I like this I like this stage layout, the bat battlefield, because um, Venya does a lot of like full hops, dropping onto your shield and stuff with exactly. um, nares and aerials. The platforms aren't going to allow him to do that as heavy. If you stay under the back of a platform, uh, or stay, you know, on a platform, sort of move back and forth like that, like Jen is right now. Uh -huh. Ooh, good combo right there. Uh, you really stop Venya from using his normal approaches, and Jen is parrying a lot of things now. He's really catching yeah. on to Venya's patterns. Yeah, it looks good, man. And that's, I think, a really important thing, is how much people are using the, the new mechanics to their advantage. Mm -hmm. And I think Venya is to a degree, for sure. Absolutely. Uh, but, you know, we're not seeing, like, we're not seeing a whole lot of people parry a lot of stuff yet. Mm -hmm. And that's it. We're all, me and Minos were actually talking about that in the set uh, before you came. 
the risk reward is very like unbalanced. Like you can parry Sometimes. things, and yeah, for, for for the most part, dash attack not gonna do it. You can parry things, and you won't you won't necessarily be out of trouble. Like you will right. have to parry a couple of things before you can get out of trouble, and you may not even get full combo out of it. So. But there's some matchups where it's really essential. I think yeah. Sorties are the big one. You Absolutely. Know, someone like an Ike or a Krom trying right. to nair or fair your shield all the time. Mm -hmm. And if you can parry those, then exactly. their aerials aren't safe. And if you don't, then they're always safe on shield. Mm -hmm. And I think Grenade is sort of a lesser version of that, uh -huh. uh, where you can sort of play the normal like dash around with punish kind of game, which uh, which Jin is very good at and always yeah. has been. Uh, but he's also really instituted like parrying when he sees Venya coming at him, and he's been better at it on this stage. Yeah. And I think that goes back to what you were saying. You know, this this really makes uh, makes your angles of approach a lot more predictable. Exactly. Because if you're hiding under one of the platforms and Greninja's trying to come at you through the air, he's only got really like one angle to get to you. You know exactly, exactly. where he's going. Mm -hmm. It's tough. So I really do like this stage, and I'd like to see uh, Jen not SD twice. Yeah. Um, because we kind of forgot that he SD twice. He SD twice last game. Because he brought it all the way back. Yeah, it was very close. With the SDs. So you can see he hasn't SD'd yet, and he's already he's put uh, Venya Almost in a full stock ahead. And there he calls out the side B right there. I'm not sure okay. about the down air instead of the neutral air, but, you know, everything's working out for Jen so far, yeah, so I'm not going to question it now. Staying pretty safe, and uh, percentages match, but Jen has a full stock lead. Nair going to put him right off stage. Let's see if he can capitalize. Shadow Sneak, not going to do it for him. Just going to neutral get up, but the Nair going to catch him. Not going to kill yet. Explosive Flame gets punished. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing. A lot of people are afraid of Explosive Flame. But if the Explosive Flame misses, this is your opportunity to rush Palutena. You have to punish that. If you're a fast faller. Yeah. If you're a floater, fast you're probably not getting down right Quick on soon. the ground. Yeah, Peace can't do anything about that. But Dash Attack going to do it. Rage Dash Attack. But he'll take that. Brings it right back. He'll take that because he was able to take the stock before with the Rage. That's what he needed the rage for. Yep. Certainly benefits Jen right there. Two stocks to one, and yep. Venya in some trouble here if he wants to make it to Grands on winter side. Now you can see him spacing out a lot of uh, his moves, trying trying to stay safe. But Jen, he's in. He's already in. Oh, he was going all out, almost SDs right there. Just I wasn't max sure he wasn't going to SD because the warp, the, um, the teleport uh, up bees in this game are really funky, man. You hit that stage and you can bounce all the way to the blast zone. That was so well spaced that it was at least close to being safe on parry. Jen at least didn't go for any punish off of it. Mm -hmm. uh, would have had to dash attack or dash grab. I'm not sure exactly if, if one of those would have hit. Mm -hmm. Now you see uh, uh, Jen using a lot of nares kind of to stuff out these aerials. Kind of trying to bait out the approach because Venya will do a lot of aerials falling. So on the way up, right. he can get hit. Well, Greninja yeah. can't really rise with aerial. Like, Greninja doesn't have a good rising aerial outside of, like, in the middle of a combo. Yeah. Like, he can pressure you if you're already in the air, you know, jump up forward air or something like that. Uh, or he can combo into, like, a jump forward air. Uh -huh. But for the most part in neutral, Greninja's not a character that can really, like, jump with a hitbox. Yeah. His aerials are all, like, slow and very low end lag. Yeah. You definitely want to stuff him on the way up. So, yeah, if you can really get in his way and stop him from setting up what he wants to do, which is what Jen is doing right now, that can be a very effective way to shut down Greninja's game plan. Now that was good patience by Venya. He got hit with a little bit of that Nair. Uh, a lot of other people would have air dodged right to the ground, and Jen was going to back air him and take the stock. But he yep. was able to stay focused and um, get back safely. Good but guy. he's still sitting at 95%. 144 on Jen with two stocks. He has to take this stock now. Nair not going to do it. And this is a long game. Yeah. We're there at we the five-minute mark. Uh, one stock left each. Uh, and I doubt this is going to time, but just it's so rare that we see a game that Venya's involved in take this long. Yeah. And I mean, not only 95% on him, 103 now, this isn't out of the realm of possibility for Venya. Venya is for sure known to make comebacks. Uh, his movement is great. His defense is great. So back throw, not going to do it. So I'd like to see, I'd like to see him, uh, I'd like to see him do it. Let's see if he can. I think one of the big things is that Greninja, and specifically Venya, is so good in a situation where his back's against the wall because uh -huh. you have to hit him one more time. Yeah. And there's no point, no matter how far ahead you are, where it's easy to hit Greninja. Exactly. Especially Venya, Especially who's Venya. never intimidated. And he but just gets really caught by the nice. falling up air right there. Ven, uh, Jen falling off stage. Mm -hmm. Gets the Palu up air right there to kill. And Jen is going to be moving on to winner side of Grands. Really good. So a very good set. But Jen, oh, that was a great catch right there. Yeah. Just runs off the platform. It falls off stage, so the whole up air comes out. Exactly. And if he would have did rising uh, up air, uh, Venya probably would have been able to make it to the ground safely. Yeah. So. Yeah. Great really stuff to Jen. Man.
And um, that is going to send him on to Grand Finals.